Hey everybody, this is Piper here, and welcome to another Rome Total War battle. So this is the second battle in the quarterfinals of the two leagues, Rome Total War 1, one versus 1 tournament. And this was a tournament hosted by Rust League. So the previous battle you saw Mussolini playing against a player called Trajan. So this is the second battle in this round. He's also going to be playing Trajan again. And now it's going to be Sust Empire versus Macedon. So yeah, this is like a one versus one tournament, and there were certain restrictions in each round. It was only certain factions available to play, and I think certain rounds, I think Egypt and Britannia, you couldn't use them because obviously they're really powerful factions. So we'll look at the armies fast, and then the battle should hopefully start soon afterwards. So Mussolini has gone with. Three units of Silver Shield Legionnaires. These guys are two or four grade. One is five upgrade. I uh, don't think the general's there. Who's the general? So he's put his general amongst the cataract. Six archers go gold. Three militia cavalry. These guys are gold attack. One side chariot. Four cataract. The cataract are gold gold uh, trying to find the general the general's actually right there we'll look at Trajan's army fast he's gone with really good pike obviously Is it one two three four five pike they are gonna be five upgrade looks like Like four, two Cretans, and he's good. It could be five. I can't see the archer. It looks like at least five units of archers, two Greek cavalry, and four companion cavalry. Companions are three upgrades. The cavalry are gold gold. So Mussolini's brought round his light cavalry and his chariots. He's Wanting to use the, the javelins on the companions, they have don't get a shield, don't get the best armor versus missile. So those javelins are going to be really powerful versus the companions. Trade is going to respond by moving his army round anti-clockwise to face the legionnaires again. And spare uh, view here, one, two, three, four, five. So five regular archers, these archers go gold and two Cretans. So Mussolini is keeping his light cavalry back and Trajan is going to start shooting at the light cavalry. So again it looks like it's 15k versus 15k and there's a charge there from Mussolini against the archers. And that's a good charge here but Mussolini is going to have to watch because these archers are fairly fresh and Trajan's brought over pike. So that probably paid off for Mussolini there, he's throwing a lot of javelins there, getting a lot of shots in there versus the pike. And he's actually routed that unit of archers, they're, they're down to 20. He does have the two units of Cretan archers though, that will give him the edge in the archer war. So it's important for Mussolini to really use the like have advantage and use the, the side chariots. And Mussolini's gone for a second charge versus those routing archers. Trying to get these guys low enough so they're right off the field, and some of Trajan's archers are actually in. He's put his Cretans into like flaming arrows, and that's really to try and flame the side chariots. So he's keeping these guys in flame mode, and that was a good play there by Mussolini. He's actually brought another unit of light cavalry around the back, We've got the charge in there versus the Cretan archers. So Trajan can actually bring over some units of heavy cavalry. He doesn't want to get dominated with, he needs to have a lot of archers left at the end because the Silver Shield Legionnaires, they will do a lot of damage against the Royal Pike Men and the Cataphractor Gold Gold as well. So he really wants to win the Arch War and then have a shot at using his Pike against the Cataphract and Legionnaires. 
So if he loses too many archers, he's gonna have a hard job defeating all of Mussini's archers. Because Mussini has a lot of archers left. So all these attacks with the light cavalry, another good attack here by Mussolini, he's gonna get a rear charge versus those archers. They might actually write from this. 19, yeah, they actually write it. So that's a rear charge there by Mussolini. He's lost his unit of light cavalry, but that's probably worth it. It's gonna give him the edge in the archer war. And obviously if they come back far enough, he's got another unit around the back as well to make sure those guys leave the field. So Mussolini is going to charge forward his infantry and he does that at the same time as charging those archers with his cavalry and he's actually routed two units of archers right there. So Mussolini is going to line up his legionnaires and throw a volley of pila against the royal pikemen. The companions have charged straight into the legionnaires but they're going to get caught by the pike. So I should say the, the pike are actually levy pike and there are, it looks like they're gold gold or at least five upgrade. So Trage is going to lose his companions from that. Uh, there's also a charge that Musi did against the, the pike and the other units of legionnaires. Trajan doesn't really have any cavalry left. And that's going to be a mass, that's going to be a riot on those raw pike men. And the chariots here cause a lot of morale damage against the pike. And this is going to be a clear victory for Mussolini. He's going to get the hammer and anvil versus those pike, and the hammer and anvil versus the last unit of pike. So it could potentially be a heroic victory for Mussolini. He's got a lot of archers here. He's killed a lot of Trajan's archers and there aren't really too many pike left. Uh, these pike are actually go go. They're actually going to hold out pretty well actually. They've done a lot of damage to the legionnaires. But again, it's a definite victory for Mussolini. There's too many archers left. And that's going to be the, the final charge against the pike right there. So well played to both players. I thought Mussolini played really well with his light cavalry. He really did out micro uh, Trajan in this battle with the like cavalry. I thought his rear charge against that unit of archers there, uh, really effective and good use of his archers and like cavalry. I thought Trajan played really well. He's got a slight faction disadvantage versus this empire of Macedon. He could have probably used his heavy cavalry a bit better to help his Greek cavalry because for a lot of the battles, it was actually. 3 light cavalry versus 2 Greek cavalry. But anyway, that was a great battle for both players. So again, this was the second round. This was the, the quarter finals of the, the two leagues tournament, hosted by Rust League. So there's another battle left, the third battle. Stay tuned for that battle. Again, as always, hope you've enjoyed this battle replay. Like, comment and subscribe. This is Piper signing off.